Hi everyone, this is Aidan. Hi, this is Yumeng. Um, so today is my first time joining Seat Weekly Show. I'll be on the show with Aidan through the month of August. So Aidan, what do we have today? Well, today we are going to talk about uh, the canvas zeros. What is canvas? Uh, well, before I answer that question, I have a little question for you, Yumeng. Um, can you drive? Yes, I can. Uh, well, in fact, you've already used it. Uh, you know, the, a lot of subsystems in your car uses, uses the CAN bus, uh, like the airbags, the voice system, and the heating light system, and so on. So, to make it short, uh, CAN bus is a communication peripheral, mm -hmm. uh, which is widely used in the car and the industry. So, why not use um, other communication peripherals like UART or I square C or like what else? Um, SPI? Mm, well, that's a good question. Uh, you know, um, for a car, the safety is very important. For a sure. tiny mistake m may cause uh, terrible errors. So, uh, we must make sure uh, this um, communication. Um, peripheral is safe enough. So for the canvas, uh, it is very uh, sim it is very simple system. So it is very stable and um, safety. And besides, it's a low cost system. So um, the car and the industry use it widely. I see. That sounds cool. Well, that's about the background. So let's get down to the business. Uh, we have several Canvas modules in our website. So I will introduce those modules next. First, we've got this Groove Zero Canvas module. It is made for an Arduino or the other MCU. It's a very tiny module. Oh. Serial canvas. And let's take it out. And as you can see, there are two ends. This end is a screw terminal and it will connect to the CAN bus network. And this end uh, will output a, a UART signal and will connect to the MCU like Arduino. So the CAN bus signal is a high voltage signal. It can up to 14 volts. So the high um, voltage signal came in through this screw terminal and it will be converted into a low voltage with this chip uh, MCP2551. And the low voltage signal uh, will be converted to the SPI signal with this chip MCP2515 and this is a little MCU the SPI signal in and the URT signal out the URT signal is very easy to read for the Arduino now and if you want to um, make your a uh, little program with a little project with Arduino this module is you know very suitable and cost-effective. Okay, uh, next we've got this um, canvas shield. This is our, one of our best ceilings. Um, you know, it also works for Arduino. Oh, they both work for Arduino? Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Well, it's obviously that this one is much bigger. Yeah, huh. yeah. And frankly speaking, uh, they are pretty much the same, the same chip solution. Okay. And but this one, you know, it has a DB9 connector, so it can work with the DB9 device uh, very conveniently. And you can see there is a terminal. It's not a screw terminal. It's a easy to use terminal. You just need to um, press and plug the cable in. And press, plug another cable. You do then, not, it will, you, then it will work. Yep, and you oh. do. You don't need to, you know, screwdriver. So it's very 
easy to use. That's cool. Can I take a look? Okay, and we have a SD card slot here. And so you can invert TIP card or SD card, and this one will turn into, will become a, a CAN bus data logger. So Aiden, what do we have next? Well, next we have a USB to CAN underside the adapter. Uh, you know, this one is made for computer. Uh, the CAN bus data in and the um, USB data out. Oh, what type of computer? Can I use it on Mac? Uh, nope. You now we have drivers for Windows and we have drivers for Linux, but we do not have driver for Mac. Hmm. And the canvas data uh, will in with this uh, school terminal. And with the USB cable type A, you can just connect ah, this I adapter see. to your computer. And we provide a software uh, which will make it very convenient. Uh, you can just read your canvas data or canvas frame uh, with the software, and also you could send the data or the canvas frame uh, with this adapter to your canvas network. So, what is this one that's next to the Raspberry Pi? Well, this is a canvas FD shield um, for Raspberry Pi. Oh. You know, this one is unique. Um, unlike the canvas modules we have just introduced, this one is a CAN FD module. CAN FD? What is that? Uh, well, CAN FD is CAN with flexible data, mm. uh, which is an upgrade version of canvas. You know, uh, traditional canvas um, can transmit data at the rate um, up to one million bytes per second, but this one, it can make it to eight million per sec bits per second. Wow! So it's eight times faster than the old CAN bus, hmm. and it's you now um, work with Raspberry Pi. So you just need to plug it uh, with the GPIO connector in the Raspberry Pi. So what is this one? It looks much bigger than the others. Just open it up. This mm -hmm. is a CAM module with GPS. GPS? Right. It's we, like we have a building GPS module inside and you can find the OBD2 connector. You know, a lot of cars um, have OBD2 connectors so you just need to plug it into your car and the canvas data can be output um. with the uh, USB Type-C connector. I see. So if you want the precise geographical information, this is definitely what you want. Well, that's what, what about this canvas modules. You know, we have canvas for Arduino, we have canvas for Raspberry Pi, and we have canvas for computer. Now I would like to introduce with you guys our C Ranger program. C Ranger program is a global community that we wanted to collaborate with experienced developers and engineers who also have a passion for sharing and community building. We would like to call to action for all the advocates and makers to apply for the program. So do we get any uh, you know, demo or projects from the Ranger? That's a really good question. So now we have received some really good demo ideas and there is a one applicant who have already submitted his project, which is really cool, um, that we would like to share with all of you. Okay, let's take a look at So this is uh, John Noel's project. He submitted this picture timer, aka as well as the pause meter. So this is a device that will be useful in the school. Here is all the hardware he used in this project, which are from our C Grove system. And I think there are two main functions of this device. One is for applause, and one is to check out what is the remaining time of one's presentation. Let's show you guys with his little demo video. So look at these 
um, light. It'll show you what is the how many how many time you have in the presentation. So he used the LEDs to present the remaining time. And when the light goes down, it means you have less remaining time for your presentation. It's actually pretty good for a school um, settings where you can be more friendly with the presenters um, in a classroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, and for here, a plus meter demo, which is to show you your show you the feedback from the audience when you finish up your presentation. It will detect the noise and the and the, from the from the audience, right? And right. to show show you, show the presenter their feedback. So the louder the better, I guess. Right. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool and very friendly in a school setting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and it, you also use our C Grove beginner kit. Right. And here's his design files, schematics. That's a very cool example for our Rangers project. Mm -hmm. We would like to receive mo more of this inspiring project from our audience and our participants. We would like to encourage all of our applicants to submit their demo projects and to inspire the global communities that we wanted to share with all of us and to inspire everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's all about today. See you next week. See you next week.